GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Amido Wabio de Imano, the best possible walking dog trainer. Keep watching GH Dog TV. Thank you. My name is Solo One, you can call me the dog blogger and this is GH Dog TV on number one TV for all dog lovers. If this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another amazing and exclusive dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at GH Dog Blogger and log on to our official website at www.ghdogblogger.com. Dot com. This program is proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. You want the right dog feed for your dogs with the right nutritional content. Poppy Milk for your puppies. Link up Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. 0244-820-350. 0244-820-350. Trust me, today's episode is a different one altogether. Today, I find myself at Ashoman Estates in the greater Accra region and today I'm getting I'm going to get up close with two dog parents yes I'm going to get up close with some dog parents right here and trust me you're going to love the episode so don't go anywhere stick and stay my name is Solo One you can call me the dog blogger Hey dog lovers, welcome back to the show. Just as I told you today, I'm right here with two dog parents and you can see these lovely dogs right here and I've gotten for myself a friend here as well. <laughs> Very soon we'll be introducing them, but then let me first get up close with them. Uh, boss, I'd like you to introduce yourself to my lovely viewers. Hi, definitely. I'm Ibrahim Ninote. Um, I'm into sports. Yes. Um, and I love dogs. Yeah, Which wrestling. type of sport, if you like to discuss, are you into wrestling or you're an athlete? Soccer. soccer. Okay. Yeah, I'm into soccer. You're a footballer? No, uh, I'm a FIFA licensed intermediary. Okay. Yeah, um, I represent players okay. and all that. I have a player, I never got a black star. Wow. Yes, and I have a few other players as well. That's beautiful, that's beautiful right there. And I would also like you to um, introduce yourself to my lovely viewers as well. I'm Sika Amachi, I'm an, I'm an artist, I paint, yes, and a dog mom of three dogs, <laughs> yes. Beautiful, 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 lovely viewers, you can see these two right here and they have these beautiful dogs as well. So, um, boss, let me start with you. Okay, you are into sports, yes, but then I can see you also have big love for dogs as well. So, let me ask you, how did this whole thing start? Uh, well... With me, with me, right, before I had, you know, before we came into contact with these dogs and all that, um, I have an auntie who is who is into dogs. She's very much passionate about dogs. So anytime we go visit, um, I get a chance to play with the dogs. And she's got different types of breeds, like different breeds. So I get a chance to play with them. And they are very nice dogs, you know, they, they, they show unconditional love. Yeah, so that was where it all started. Yeah, I became passionate about dogs and I decided to get one myself. Yeah, so I met Sika and then we just decided to get culture, which I mean the one you're holding. Okay. Yeah, right. So a few months before she got pregnant, then we got this one as well, that's Julie. And she's she was where we got her when she was uh, six, six weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah. I think she was six weeks old. So culture got pregnant and then she gave birth to Miss Mary. Yeah, that's Miss Mary, yeah. So I'm really following the story well, um, you started developing dogs at a very tender age. I think I was about seven years old. Yeah. Did you did you have dogs in your house since you mentioned your auntie? Well, I wasn't living with my auntie, you know, 
I'm from a royal home and um, that part of my family we don't rear dogs yeah so anytime I want to like you know play with dogs and stuff like that I just go to my aunties yeah so like we we usually go there for holidays you know like maybe a weekend and I get a chance to play with them if I'm getting a wall you personally like you were not allowed to have dogs at your home wow but you still have the passion definitely how did that passion grow is it because of your auntie or you saw maybe a video or something of that sort it's straight from my auntie yeah straight from my auntie you know seeing her you know care for the dogs every morning bringing them out taking them out for walks you know they go poop and stuff like that <laughs> yeah and giving them food you know um, I mean, instructing them, all of them will be seated waiting for their food. Yeah, it was beautiful like that, so yeah. Do you remember the breeds they were, or were they toy dogs like these? Were they poodles? They were in toy dogs. They were, um, I think she had a German Shepherd, a Boabu, and a Rot. Yeah. We'll get to where I ask you about your favorite breeds since you were introduced to these dogs as well. But then let me get to Sika as well. Sika, he, he chipped something in saying that um, after he met you, you got this first dog here. So I'd like to ask you, um, how did you also develop love for dogs? Was it when you met him or when? Like how did the whole thing happen? Um, well, I was actually a cat person. I, I, I really wanted to own cats, but um, I think in 2015, someone invited me for a dog show. So, and I think it was at Ifwa Sutherland. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I saw how people were interacting with their dogs, and there were some dogs that were properly trained to do some stunts and all that. Yeah. And I actually liked what I was seeing. So, I decided, okay, I would want to get a dog. But around that time, I wasn't sure, like I was torn in between, because I knew it was hard work. I mean, having a pet and all that, you'd have to care for it, if you keep it indoors, um, sanitary conditions and stuff like that. But like he said, um, after we met, we decided, why not, like, let's give it a shot. So we decided to get culture, and then Jolie came in, and then now we have Miss Mary, so yeah. <laughs> So a lovely viewers. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you heard it from her. I think I've met a couple of people, and when I asked them about how they became dog lovers, they talk about that show, 2015 show at Ivoa Sadala. I don't know. I wasn't there at the event, but I'm sure something marvelous happened because yeah, it seems it really transformed a lot of people. So if you're watching me, and most of the time um, you see dog events and you don't really come, come on. Just experience it, like Sika is saying. Just experience. Just come for the dog walks, the dog shows, the dog. Every dog, even if you're not a dog lover, you can just join and check it out. You can see what these our fairy friends can do right there. So, um, Sika, if I'm fully following up the story, that was how you. But so, have you cut the love for cats after <laughs> you go introduced to dogs? No, I haven't cut the love for cats. I would want to have cats in the future, but right now it's the dogs for me because I've gotten more use. I think I've had culture for like, I had it in 2019. Yes, so I've become used to them and caring for them and trying to understand them. So my love for cats is not, I have not cut it short, but okay. yeah, we're happening sometime. <laughs> Let me, let me ask you this tough question. Let me ask you, um, so between the cat and the dog, which one would you choose now? If you were to choose, pick one out of the dog and the cat. Um, well, I would say dogs. Because, yeah, I would say dogs. Because you can't take a cat for a walk. <laughs> Most definitely, you cannot take a cat for a walk. And also, I think dogs have their own temperament. Cats are more like... Um, isolated they, they like being isolated and in their own space and they have their moment but a dog would jump onto you whenever like when i go out and i'm coming home and i as soon as i open the door i love the way she comes to meet me like they'll just be all over you and it's it's warm so yeah that's beautiful so you also side with her on the dog and the cat thing oh well i i, yeah, I don't like dogs i don't like cats sorry yeah i i'm a straight dog lover yeah, so culture culture waits for me anytime I step out. When I step out, she she just sits at the gates till I come back. Yeah, take hours. She wouldn't eat. Yeah. Wow. 
Uh, it was this is culture right here. Yeah, that's the friend I've got right here. Check culture out. <laughs> culture is your first love. Right. Yeah, that's my first love. Yeah, I really love it. So getting culture for the first time. Whose idea was it? Yeah, it was actually my idea to get culture because of the breeding business and stuff like that. Yeah. So we just decided to go for culture. What was her response like? Yeah, she she was it was positive. Yeah, she she bought in the idea and then we went for it. So you being dog parents, let me ask you this question. Have you faced any challenges in bringing up these dogs here? <sighs> Julie, well, okay, she didn't give me much problem. But Julie, she's always peeing and pooping on the bed. Yeah, she, she, she doesn't want to poop outside. You take her out to poop or pee, she wouldn't do that. But immediately you bring her inside and you, you take your eye off for a minute. Maybe like you get to the kitchen. By the time you get back and she's on the bed, she has messed up the whole bed. Yeah. <laughs> so I well, people say you don't be dogs, but I think these are like kids. Yeah. You know, if you want to bring them up for them to be right, you have to treat them like you are bringing up your own child. So when she like when they do something wrong, you beat them or you shout at them. Yeah, but I don't beat them like you know hard exactly. Like I just shout at them a little and then. So that was how I, I kind of trained all of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, with these two, I think we trained them together, but 80% of culture, I think I trained culture. Yeah. So she listens to me a lot. She can sit, she can stand. Um, when, when we are in the room or in the hall, I tell her to go sit in the chair. She sits, she sits in the chair. Yeah. She, she's very respectful. But these two, you have to like repeat the command for like three times. Before they get it, they are very stubborn. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I like, I like, I like about them is how they've been neatly groomed. And come on, check out, she's wearing boss right here. It's, it's very beautiful. Yeah, she's she's a boss. She's a you boss. know. Yeah. <laughs> she's the alpha when it comes to the two of them. Okay. Like they follow her lead. Okay. So when you ask Kocha to sit and they're around. They follow, they follow what she does. So when you say, Coach, I get in the chair, and she gets in the chair, these two would follow. So oh, she's the boss. <laughs> and that's how they also get to learn, get into the chair, sit, and all that. Yeah, because when they, when they don't get it from you and they get it from the alpha or culture, it's equally the same. Yeah. That's beautiful. So, Sika, um, he has talked about his challenges. Have you also had any challenges? Because I'm, I know you, you both own them. So, what are some of the challenges you have also faced in raising them up? Um, well, first of all, when I got Sholi, um, training culture was a bit easy because he was there to help me with that. But when it came to Jolie, he was busy most of the time. So, I had to um, try and like put her together. But... I don't know if it's, and the mistake I made was, they are two different, um, you get it, so the temperament and how they respond to um, um, commands will be different, but I was using the same a- approach for her, and it wasn't working, so she gave me a whole lot of trouble, like chewing papers, chewing cables, I mean, it was, it was, it was a mess, it was a mess, so, but now it's, it's, it's gotten a lot more better, like, I think she, she's responding to, to training, so it's gotten a lot more better. And right now, I think the challenge I'm having now is with her. Like, she's picked up um, a few stuff that she used to do. And these two actually bond. I, I don't know why. They, they have a bond. Like, when you take them down to potty, they have this play they do together, but they never really play with her like that. So, yes. So, well, we are putting her together too. She's learning bit by bit, and she likes me more. Than she likes him. Cause, cause I, I'm always shouting at her. I'm always trying to like, you do the right thing for like for once. <laughs> <laughs> she, she never does anything right. I mean, Miss Mary will just destroy anything she sees. You leave her in there with maybe flower pots. You take your eye off a minute, come back, and she has dug the whole pot. Wow. Oh, bro. Oh, we still love them regardless yeah we still we still love them regardless i believe it's a it's just um um with time yes just a matter of time like little by little i'm sure she'll pick up and she's still a pop so yeah it's understandable Next one, it's, it's very much understandable lovely viewers if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel Trust me, this is GH Dog TV. Just kindly subscribe to our channel. And just as I always say, even if you're not a dog lover, 
you're going to turn out to be a massive dog lover and this program is proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and poppy milk you want the right dog feed for your dogs just link up with eminent 0244-820-350 0244-820-350 now um boss let me let me ask you this question very soon we'll be wrapping up the interview soon and then we'll check out the names of the dogs and everything but let me ask this one as well would you consider getting um getting other dogs well well with me i'm i i i'm a lover of big dogs not toy dogs yeah right like i said it was because of um, the business aspect and that's why we got um culture initially i mean for the start but personally when i get my own home hopefully yes why not? I love to get like a rot, a great dane, uh-huh. yes, and maybe a uh, Caucasian. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, all those big dogs. You've, you've, men- you've mentioned a couple of breeds, so if I'm to ask you to give me like your top five favorite dog breeds. Top five. Top five. Uh, arrange them in order of preference. Pitbull. Why the Pitbull? Oh, Pitbull, they, are, they, are, they don't show mess you. Yeah. <laughs> I like Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull, Great Dane, um, the Rot, the Wobble, and then the the German Shepherd, right? Put that German Shepherd on number five. Yes. Do you know why I have smiles on my face right now? <laughs> it's more like the German Shepherd enthusiast. Wherever I go, when I ask people of their favorite, they normally put German Shepherd on number one. <laughs> no, I like the Great Dane. You know when you know they they grow very tall. And when they stand, you see their muscles and all that. Yeah, that's that's a dog. <laughs> yeah. So you would consider one of these breeds if you were to get another dog alongside these ones? Uh, okay, well, not here, not in this environment, right? But in my own home, yes, I would actually get all the five I mentioned. Okay. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, Sika, let me ask you that same question as well. I'm sure you heard the question, right? Okay. She's a rot lover. Okay. <laughs> so, which beats would you also like to consider? Uh, I, number one is a rot and then a doberman. And he showed me pictures of a great din and I think, yeah, and, and a Caucasian. Yes, yes. I think these, these four dogs, yeah, I would want to. I want to. Rot, doberman, and Caucasian. Yes. That's actually three you mentioned. Three? Yes. Mm-hmm. You okay. Said- Rot, a Doberman, a Caucasian, uh-huh. and a Boabu. Okay. Yeah, the Brindle type, the one, the black and white. It, you know, it's actually brown and black. Oh, yeah, the, the Brindle. Brindle, yeah, yeah, the Brindle colors. Yeah, they are very cute. So I'd want wow. to get, I want to get them. So if I'm getting a wall, you both do not just love toy dogs, but you also love the bigger dogs. But maybe um, for the apartment living, these dogs actually fit the apartment living. So if you were to get um, another breed which is suitable for the apartment living, like the toy dogs, which breed would you get? I'm waiting for you to mention my favorite breed. Your favorite breed? Yes. Favorite toy, my favorite toy breed. Well, I, I, I'll just go for the full breed Maltese. Okay. Yes, I'll just go for the full breed Maltese. Yes. And what about you as well? Uh, well, Shih Tzu's are cute. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> she she knows what's what's very cool. Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu's not true. are cute, and Yorkies too. Yorkies too are cute. So um, I would go aside getting a Maltese or maybe a multiple. I'd want to get a Shih Tzu or a Yorkie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice one. I'm I'm very I'm very happy with the answer she gave. You know, Shih Tzu's are the are the are the they are the trend. They are the, they are the trend. They are the current trend. They are the current toy dogs that are trending. <laughs> I don't like following trends. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow trends. <laughs> but one thing about the Shih Tzu is also an Asian breed. I think you should consider checking them out. Well, maybe I'll make my own research yeah. on them. Do your own research, and within five minutes, you're going to fall for them. Are you sure? I'm throwing that challenge to you. Said I get back with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have, nice to have the viewers. The conversation is really getting interesting. If you're also watching, I've mentioned something about the Shih Tzu, so you can also research about the Shih Tzus as well. So um, we'll be wrapping up very soon. So I'd like you to drop out um, your final words to dog lovers. Like maybe somebody is watching, the person doesn't like dogs right. or love dogs. So what message can you give to them? Okay, well, I'm a very busy person. Um, 
on a bad day i get home very stressed so anytime i get home and she's at the door waiting for me like and the way she plays around trying like get, trying to seek my attention is just beautiful it releases my stress i get to play with her sit watch tv with her and yeah so um what i have to tell you know people who don't really appreciate dogs they actually release stress they are man's best friend um they offer unconditional love yeah, yeah that's a love that no no human being can actually show you fact was human being i mean we have friends and all that but human being can just disappoint you at any time but the dog just show you unconditional love all the time yeah i met with one dog lover that reminds me he told me that losing a dog is worse than a breakup do you do would you agree yeah. i agree with that because i remember when culture got sick um it was late in the evening and, and, and vets were closed at that time i think this i think vets vets should be they should have just like just as we have 24 hour um, hospitals we should have 24 hour vets as well because i had this friend whose um, dog died because he couldn't find a vet in the evening for the dog yes so um, vets should con consider you know opening a 24 hour service yes I could see Sika also nodding her head when I talked about the breakup. So you also consider that? Yes, um, I actually had an experience with that. When she littered, one of her pups died and asked him. I weeped uncontrollably. Like, I couldn't even, I was on the floor. Because it was, it was a very heartbreaking moment for me. And I don't even want to picture, like, losing any, any one of them. It's something I don't think about, yeah, because... I, I, it will be a heart-wrenching process for me, so I really don't want to think about it. I think it's the worst kind of pain anybody can go through. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Justice Flip, if you're if you're watching, it seems the comment you passed on the show, you're really getting support from dog lovers. Everybody I've met so far, every dog lover I've met actually sides with him so justice flip if you're watching big shout outs to you right there so Sika, um, what final message can you also give to people who do not like dogs as well well um i would advise them to i mean like go for dog shows for a start i mean if you can't readily get a dog go for dog shows for a start watch how other people interact with them and trust me you i don't know how to explain it but you would you would love them i mean sometimes when you are when you're sad nobody can love you as much as a dog like they can tell when you're sad and they all come around you and they try to play with you and even when you're not in the mood you have to play with them so yeah i i, I would advise them to first start with um, viewing dog shows going for dog walks and all that yes and they would really love the experience so that's the word sika is given to us sika says just start by going for dog shows and trust me the love will just start and I, I, I think I really support her on that. Now, bro, before we get to my favorite part where you introduce the dogs to my lovely viewers, their names and why you like them, I'd like you both to drop your social media handles as well. Okay, so you can reach me on Instagram, um, ni underscore Abraham. Yeah, that's it. Ni underscore Abraham. And I think Sika is also into paintings and stuff like that, just in case somebody wants to contact you, your social media handle as well. Um, it's Sika underscore Machi. Sika Machi yeah on on instagram yes and there's um my actual painting page is Bena black and um, with the underscore okay lovely viewers so they've just dropped their social media handles go check them out go check them out today i got up close with me and sika proud dog parents proud dog dad and proud dog mom and i have my lovely friend here as well now this is where we get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs their names and everything so don't go anywhere my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger okay welcome back now we get to my favorite part this is where we check out the names of the dogs and everything and then the show would end pretty soon now what's, what, what's the name of this dog right here this dog is so much in love with me and i love her too <laughs> well um she's culture um, she'll be two years in June. Yeah. And what do you like about Kocha? She's obedient. She's respectful. Do this and she does it perfectly. Oh. Yes. And she's 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 a human lover. Like she she likes to be around people and stuff. She likes to socialize. Wow. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. 
Mm-hmm. Sika, what do you also like about her as well? Well, it's quite the same as what he said. Um, she's very obedient. She's very like calm and collected, and she has her own moments. I mean, she plays when she wants to, mm-hmm. and. When I take her down, usually to have their potty breaks and all that, when she sees someone, she just <laughs> approaches yeah. the person and she wants to play. So wow. she's a playful dog. Nice one, lovely viewers. Let, let's check out, let's check out culture right there. Let's check out culture right there. Lovely viewers, check out culture. Very beautiful. Wow, check out, check out her, <laughs> check out her outfit right there. <laughs> culture, come here, come here, come here. Let me, <laughs> let me pick culture back. That's culture right there. Yes, that's the friend I've got here. Culture, say hello to the cam. <laughs> okay, and what about our lovely friend here as well? Oh, the troublesome one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, this is Miss Mary. Yes. Um, what I actually like about her is... What do I even like about Miss Mary? The way she's stumbled like this. Well, she's very playful when, you know, she gets familiar with you. Yeah, but aside that, she's the protective type. Yes, you know, when she's indoor and you know someone just knocks, she's the first to back. Yeah, so that's what I like about her. She's very protective, even though she knows I like to be here. She's very protective over me. Mm-hmm. What about you, Sika, as well? Um, Miss Mary is very playful and she likes me a lot. When she's usually on my lap, she doesn't allow any of them to come up, so she's very possessive too, as yeah. well. Yeah, but I like her because, like what he said when you come up you, you experience yeah, it when you yeah, came she was the first person to to back here so she she has that alertness so i love that about her and she's cute <laughs> they all are cute yes, wow. yes. that's miss mary right i don't know if you can raise her up so that my camera can capture miss mary she's very cute wow love her outfit too wow 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 come on miss mary pose for the cam whoa <laughs> oh miss mary is shy <laughs> Okay, that's Miss Mary right there. Okay, Sika, let me allow you to introduce this lovely one right here as well. That's Jolie. Yeah, it's a French word for beauty or something pretty. Yeah, I named her Jolie because of her color. Like, I, f- I feel like her color is very unique and I love black. So, yeah, I decided to name her Jolie. Yes. And I love Jolie because she's super playful. She's very, when she gets like so comfortable, she's very playful and she likes when you give her fans. Like, Julia enjoys the fans a lot. Like, yeah, so I love her because she's very playful and she's also very alert. Yes, yes. So, whenever someone steps up, when she hears something little, she will let out her back for you to know that there's something going on. Yeah. So. What do you also like about Julia as well? Well, uh, Julie. <laughs> Well, Julie, like she said, Julie is very playful, and um, <laughs> yeah, she's well. She she, I like everything about her except one thing: the fact that she likes to destroy stuff, and she influences Miss Mary a lot. So when they are together, they just mess things around. That is the only thing I don't really like about them. Yeah, but aside that, I really love them so much. Yeah. Uh, that's beautiful lovely viewers so that's what we we come on i don't can my camera is capture jolie yes before yeah 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 wow check out julie right there check out julie right there she loves to give kisses she loves to give julie loves to give kisses yes yes julie say hello to the camera hello Julie right there. So this is where we are going to end um, today's episode. Thanks so much for having you on the show. Right, right. right. You're Thank welcome. You You're welcome. Thank you too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too as well. <laughs> Lovely viewers, I told you today's episode was going to get really interesting. I got up close with two dog lovers and you can see they are beautiful dogs in the background. Now, if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, kindly subscribe to our channel. And you just hit on the bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at 
GH Dog Blogger. Maybe you want to link up with GH Dog TV. Pick the number on our screen 055 328 4056. 055 328 4056. This program was proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. I always talk about the dog feed. Just link up with Eminent Dog Feed. Very nutritious. Very nutritious. And if you have puppies as well, you can also contact them for your poppy milk eminent poppy milk just call them 0244-820-350 0244-820-350 thank you so much for watching my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time